Eamon Holmes is currently at war with Philip Schofield after the former This Morning host was dropped by his management YMU and from ITV after he confessed to having an affair with a young showrunner on This Morning. In what has been a disastrous two weeks for Philip, 61, the fallen TV presenter has stepped down from hosting This Morning after 21 years amid ongoing reports of a bitter feud between himself and Holly Willoughby. Following his confession about having an affair with a much younger male while he was still married, things have gotten much worse for Philip as a handful of his former ITV colleagues, including Eamon Holmes, have blasted him as rude and narcissistic as they continue to expose the behind-the-scenes toxicity that they claim Philip brought to the ITV set. In particular, Eamon, 63, has been incredibly vocal about his issues with Philip, revealing that he and the fallen TV presenter have been feuding for years on end, although Eamon put aside their spat, supporting Philip on this morning when he came out as gay in 2020. Here, we take a look at how the feud first started, and everything that has been said since. Philip cuts off Ruth before Loose Women airs back in April 2019. Philip left Ruth Langsford furious when he cut her off as this morning was handing over to Loose Women for a preview of panel topics that day. While introducing the episode's topics, Philip cut Ruth off, stating, Guys, we're going to have to jump in there and stop you I'm afraid because we're a bit tight for time at this end. Thank you, Ruth. At the time, Ruth looked visibly annoyed as she threw her hands in the air and looked across to her fellow panelists to see their reaction. Well, I only had about two more words to say, she fired back at Philip. Following the awkward moment, it was reported that Ruth made a complaint to ITV about Philip's rudeness and the toxicity that she claimed he brought to ITV. And in Naaman's recent bombshell interview with GB News, the former This Morning presenter shed light on Ruth's complaint, explaining that she had had enough of Philip's rude behavior, and him cutting her off was the straw that broke the camel's back. It was about his rudeness. This nonsense he has said in his statement denying the toxicity at High TV and saying that High TV and This Morning is a happy place, holy God, what planet does this man live on? He created an atmosphere where people hated him. People would avoid him in the corridor. He was so rude to the loose women and he was so dismissive. We always had to do this handover between programs from this morning and Loose Women about what was coming on next. The Loose Women always felt very demeaned by the whole thing because he was always so rude to them, he said in the explosive interview. Eamon and Ruth support Phil as he comes out as gay in February 2020, Philip shocked the nation when he came out as gay on this morning. Despite ongoing rumors of tension between Phil on one side and Eamon and Ruth on the other, the couple appeared alongside Philip on the famous This Morning couch in support of his brave decision to reveal his sexuality on live television. At the time, Philip and Eamon appeared to put their differences aside, with Eamon praising the TV presenter and labeling him as an inspiration to many. It's fantastic. So many people will be strengthened by this. We'll be standing beside you, Eamon said at the time. Philip also thanked Eamon for his unwavering support in a gushing tribute on Twitter. Can I just say that at Eamon Holmes and at Ruthie Eel were utterly magnificent with me today, privately downstairs just the three of us and upstairs in front of the world, he penned vertical bar I couldn't have hoped for a better, calming and loving set of hugs and support, I adore them both. And for the record, at Eamon Holmes made me laugh, he lightened a very emotional moment and I'm very happy that he did. However, 
following Phil's a fair confession, Eamon has blasted the memorable This Morning segment as a lie as he claims that both he and Ruth were deceived by Philip and ITV who he also claims covered up the affair. In a series of furious tweets last week, Eamon raged, Ruth and I were deceived and lied to. One day I will tell the story. We had no issue with him being gay, only support. What transpired took us for fools. The man told us complete lies and we unfortunately believed him. Eamon and Ruth forced off this morning in November 2020, just nine months after Eamon and Ruth publicly supported Philip, it was revealed that the couple were are leaving this morning in a major shake-up by ITV bosses. Then, just two months later Eamon was sensationally dropped from this morning after a 14-year reign on the ITV show alongside his wife, Ruth. While Ruth still had her post on the Loose Women panel, Eamon, 63, was left high and dry by ITV bosses when they decided the show needed a major shake-up with two brand new presenters. However, their time on the show came to an abrupt when they were replaced by Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary. The husband and wife duo, who presented the Friday show together since 2006, were said to be furious and upset over the move. Eamon is pretty furious and everyone feels for him and Ruth, they are well liked on the team, but sometimes tough decisions have to be made, an insider said at the time. Before his exit, Eamon had confided that he feared being too pale, stale and male for the award-winning ITV show, which had drawn criticism for not having enough diversity among the presenters. The Northern Irish star had also left bosses fuming in 2019 when he was wrapped by Ofcom for ill-judged comments regarding the conspiracy theories surrounding 5G masts spreading coronavirus. The watchdog said his remarks, in which he said that mainstream media should not automatically slap down such claims, risked undermining viewers' trust in advice from public authorities and scientific evidence. In January 2022, Eamon joined GB News while Ruth stayed at ITV. After he left, it was claimed that Phil didn't reach out to Eamon to see how he was doing. Lifting the lid on Phil's radio silence, a source claimed that although the pair never saw eye to eye, his lack of contact had come as quite a surprise given the fact he and Eamon worked alongside one another for so many years. The insider revealed, it's been quite publicized that he and Philip didn't really see eye to eye. Philip hasn't contacted Damon since leaving this morning, which is a bit of a shame. Eamon felt like Philip didn't really like him, they told OK! Magazine. Eamon launches attack on Philip in February 2022, one year after he was dropped by this morning. Eamon launched his first public attack on Philip during a segment on GB News. At the time, Eamon hit out at Philip, calling him passive aggressive and accused him of snubbing people at ITV. Speaking about Phil's rumor drift with his wife Ruth, Eamon later said, It's up to Ruth to say how she felt, but I was feeling hurt for her. Eamon also liked a tweet which branded this morning's tribute to Philip's 40th work anniversary as bizarre. QGate in September 2022, Eamon became increasingly vocal about his issues with both Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby when they were blasted for Q-jumping the public while filming a segment for this morning about the late Queen Elizabeth II lying in state. Fury ensued when news broke that the This Morning duo had not queued to see the late Queen, while other huge celebrities including David Beckham lined up for hours on end in the cold alongside members of the public. Holly and Phil denied jumping ahead, insisting that they had respected the rules set for the media, but Eamon insisted they were lying and called them both arrogant. 
on GB News, Eamon said, LL tell you what's strategic. Why is Holly fighting to keep her job but Mr. Philip isn't? Presenter Claire Muldoon replied, who knows? Twitter, last night, was saying she didn't want to vacate her job at this morning. To which Eamon added, who wouldn't want to give up £600,000 a year and everything else that comes with it? I think the brand is very damaged. There has to be a change from the top down to the bottom on this morning. They didn't get a fast track, they say. Lie. They say they didn't pay their respects to the body. Lie. What else were they there for? Let's just tell the truth about the whole thing. They messed up, and instead of being arrogant and saying, we were there working as journalists, why don't they just say, yeah, we thought it would be a good idea. Eamon blasts Holly and Phil's fake friendship earlier this month, before his resignation from ITV as a whole, Philip responded to yet another claim of a fallout with Holly. The presenter said in a statement to The Sun that, while the last few weeks haven't been easy for either of us, Holly has continued to be his rock and best friend. However, after releasing his statement to the press, Holly was said to have been left deeply hurt and blindsided by Philip's decision to speak to the publication behind her back. After Phil's statement, Eamon said that both he and Holly deserved a special award for Best Actors at the BAFTA TV Awards. On GB News, he said, the public surely will suss that Terry Snow chemistry, that it's a broken fit between the two of them and that this morning does not depend on who presents it. Eamon claims Phil was sacked from ITV after Philip announced his departure from this morning amid burning rumors of a feud between himself and Holly, and the growing tensions around his brother, Timothy Schofield's sex abuse case, Philip said that he was stepping away from the show with immediate effect. In response, Eamon hit back at Philip's statement, insisting that the This Morning presenter was sacked from the show and that he didn't just step away. Eamon slammed Philip's exit statement as nonsense when he said on GB News, let's just stop this. He was sacked. All this nonsense about giving him I've decided to step down. I'm sure you did, I'm sure you did. Here's your P45, now step down. ITV responded to Eamon's comments with a statement which said, Philip Schofield's decision to step down from this morning was, as his statement made clear, a decision agreed between Philip and ITV. Eamon exposes Philip once and for all just six days after he announced his departure from this morning, Philip came clean about an affair he was having with a much younger male member of ITV staff. After the news broke, Eamon took to Twitter to further expose Philip, claiming that several of his colleagues knew about the affair, which occurred while Philip was still married. Eamon went on to claim that ITV bosses covered up the affair. Schofield has finally been caught out. But Hess not the only guilty party. Four high members of ITV management knew what sort of man he was and never once took action to prevent him controlling or taking advantage of his position over young people, he wrote on Twitter. GB News tell all Eamon Holmes made several bombshell claims about Philip Schofield and ITV in a no-holds-barred interview last night. The GB News host, 61, said he was speaking out for those who had no voice following the news his former colleague had embarked on an affair with a young runner on this morning. Eamon, who used to present the daytime show with his wife Ruth Langsford, didn't hold back in the bombshell chat with Dan Wooten, who at times looked as shocked as the rest of us at home watching. During the chat, 
he claimed that Philip's ex-lover was driven from his London home in cars paid for by ITV, and made further claims about a cover-up about the affair by ITV. The Mirror has contacted to Philip's representatives and an ITV spokesperson for comment.